As the Ministry of Education continues to embrace technology as a staple for instruction and learning in schools, the training of teachers continues to be a top priority. Spearheaded by the Taiwanese Embassy, in December 2021, the Ministry of Education signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Share, Trust, Unity and Family Fund, STUFF, a non-governmental organization out of New York to bring training to teachers in Scratch programming. Scratch programming is a drag-and-drop programming language, which is relatively easy for secondary school students to learn. Permanent Secretary of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Michelle Charles, says that the goal to improve digital competencies in students rests on the compulsory first step of training teachers. She commended teachers for being committed to riding the wave of embracing ICT in the classroom and making themselves available for continued professional development. For us within the administration and policy arm of the ministry, your accomplishment today leaves us feeling very motivated and encouraged as we recognize that we are getting closer to the fulfillment of the objectives of our ICT policy. Ladies and gentlemen, Today is an awesome one for integration of ICT in education. The training of a cadre of committed and enthusiastic professionals augurs well for the advancement of our efforts as we embrace technology as a staple for instruction and learning. The objective of the MOU is to improve the digital gap that exists by helping students learn fundamental coding skills. Taiwanese Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen says, that he is excited to see St. Lucia moving towards closing the digital divide and embracing the training opportunities that continue to be made available. And I wanted to commend the 15 teachers who have completed one month's courses and tests to be eligible teachers to teach students with new skills. Since uh, last year, when we signed the coding MOU, I have seen a digital innovative solution emerging under the leadership of Minister of Edu Education, Honorable Sean Edwards, Permanent Secretary Michelle Charles, and all the colleagues from the Ministry of Education and for my embassy and technical uh, mission. I also like to express my appreciation again to the Sitai United Fund for providing the teachers and fabricating materials exclusive for Sanusha. Students will also benefit from the Scratch programming curriculum by realizing ideas about animation and gaming and using the logistic knowledge of Scratch programming to advance to other programming languages such as C or Python. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Daniel Dubois reporting.